Today you're going to learn how to make a strawberry fruit tea from syrup at home. Welcome to this special series on how to make bubble tea shop fruit teas from syrup in the comfort of your own home. There are over a dozen popular restaurant quality grade bubble tea syrups on the market that you can purchase for home use. Each one is unique in flavor, viscosity, and sweetness, so just bear that in mind when you're making this recipe. Making fruit tea from syrup at home is so quick and easy that once you get the basics down, you'll have so much fun experimenting with flavors and measurements. I'll be sure to put the American versions in the description below, along with some of my other popular fruit tea recipes. So, let's get started. First, we wanna get our tea brewing. We want a strong base brew. I recommend a loose leaf jasmine green tea. If you don't have loose leaf, then maybe about two tea bags will work just fine. You might need to experiment a little bit to figure out your desired strength of the tea brew. You'll put one tablespoon of the loose leaf tea into 175 milliliters of 70 degrees Celsius water. I'm going to cover it and leave it to brew for seven minutes. While it's brewing, you wanna pour 40 milliliters of the strawberry syrup into a shaker. along with seven milliliters of fructose. If you don't have fructose, I would recommend experimenting with different types of sugars, sweeteners, or honey. Once the tea is done brewing, carefully strain it into your shaker. and then stir until all is combined. Next, we wanna add ice all the way to the top. Just like that. Next, we're going to put on the middle section and the top section and shake it for one minute. If you don't have a shaker, you can go ahead and put it in a larger glass and stir it very well for about two minutes. We know it's ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. Add your topping of choice to your glass. Mine today is my favorite, boba. I've got a mix of panda, white and black tapioca pearls. Strain the fruit tea into your glass and enjoy. Be sure to hold on to this middle section while you're pouring so it doesn't accidentally fall off. And if you'd like, you can also add a few ice cubes after you're done. Perfect. and refreshing. I love it. If you liked this video, please do me a favor and click that like button. And why not subscribe? I bring you a brand new video every week. And while you're there, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you again soon. Take care.